we shouldn't worry about a, I think there's something like a, a beeping little grapefruit going around the world or something like that. And uh, later on sort of changed his, his view of things because he was, uh, he was the one who really approved the starting of NASA. A little less than a year after Sputnik, on October 1st, 1958, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, was established. NASA's first administrator was T. Keith Glennon. You can be justly proud of the fact that your past achievements have made NACA the choice of all governmental agencies out of which to build the new agency. And that's this week at NASA.